Okay, who has this problem with their garage door opener? Garage door is open. When you go to close it, yeah, won't close. Sensor problem. Now you can't just bypass the wires. You have to attach sensors to it. The sensors are only about 20 bucks, 25 bucks online. Go buy yourself a couple of new sensors or work with the ones you have. I'm gonna cut off the sensors that I have in my garage and attach them directly right here and face each other. Here's one of my sensors. There's a little green light on each of these sensors and that will show you whether or not they're aligned. If one light is on, the other isn't, try to align them until both lights are on. If that doesn't happen, maybe a sensor is defective. I don't know, I'm tired of them. I'm gonna cut one. So I'm gonna get this wire here and I'm gonna pretend to cut it right now for the video. Snip, snip, snip. Yep, I just cut off the wire so I could remove the sensor. Usually it's one little screw with a wing nut and I have sensor number one. Do I really have to show you how to snip off the other sensor? Snip, snip, snip. Well, there's the other sensor. Now I have them both. Now that I have both sensors off, I'm gonna to go to the end of the wire and split the wires apart. Split, split, split. And I'm gonna splice both ends. Note that each sensor has a completely white wire and one of them has a black stripe on it. Just note it, you don't have to write it down. I don't have an assistant with me, so I have to hold this camera in one hand, leaving me one hand free to do stuff. Here's my two sensors, and I'm gonna to go to the ends of the wires where I've cut them, split them apart, and I'm gonna take the black stripe wire on this one and twist it into the wire on this one. Twisty, 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 twisty. Ah, movie magic. We have the two black wires and the two white wires. Look at that. Okay, let's go up top. Okay, kids, I have two terminals here. These wires here are for the radio transmitter and or the button on the door. Okay, radio's right here. There you go. I have a white terminal, black terminal. I have the black wires and the white wires. It's not rocket science, kids. Okay, I've connected both sensors. And I'm thinking I can just mount them right here and connect them to each other. However, check this out. I have a light on one, and even though it's facing the other, we have a defective sensor. They're about $22, $25 on Amazon. Just buy a new pair of sensors, mount them somewhere up here, away from the chain drive, keep it safe. Well, except for the garage door closing on pets and small children and such. But go ahead and mount those up here facing each other and you should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and do that myself and I might update this video. Here it is three days later and I picked these up on Amazon for about 25 bucks. And as you can see, if you move one away, the light goes out. On, off. With them on, let's see how the garage door works. Oh, whoa, there it is. Easy cheesy. Break the beam and up it goes. That's it. Have fun. Oh, and stay safe.